Hi, so we're gonna take a look at creating our first 3D feature in a part file. So we're in uh, Autodesk Inventor 2021. We're gonna go up to the top here and click the drop down and click part. Okay, we're gonna create a new 2D sketch. So we're gonna click start 2D sketch. We're gonna select the X uh, Z plane and click left click. Okay, to start our sketch, we're going to make a rectangle. So we're gonna click, move the mouse and click again. We're going to dimension that rectangle to be four inches. So we select dimensioning tool, click, move the mouse, click again. We're gonna make it six inches, so six, enter. Notice that it disappeared. In order to find it again, we're going to zoom all. So go to the right hand bar here and we're gonna click uh, this zoom tool. Notice that we have zoom all by clicking the little down, arrow, down rectangle. We have zoom all selected. So we're gonna click zoom all. Okay. Now we're gonna choose the side. We're gonna click, move the mouse and click. We're gonna click, say four, enter for four inches. We're gonna wheel out to zoom this time. And then we're gonna click the wheel to, to pan over so it's in the center of the screen. Okay, that's, our, um, that's the start of our sketch here. And now we're going to go ahead and put a circle into the sketch. Okay, so we're gonna click on the circle, move the mouse, click, sorry, click on the circle tool, click to place the circle, move the mouse, click to, to click to set the circle, click on the dimensioning tool, select the outside of the circle, move or click to select the outside of the circle, move the mouse, click again. And we're gonna make it two inches. So that's a two inch diameter. Okay, so two inch diameter. Now we're gonna use dimensioning to place that circle. Okay, so we're gonna click on the dimensioning tool, click on the outside of the circle, click the top uh, line of the rectangle, move the mouse over, click again to place, click the green check to set it. Okay, so that's two, two inches from the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it uh, from the side. So we're gonna click the side, move the mouse up, click again to set, and we're gonna make it two inches from the side and enter. Okay, so we place the circle and we everything is fully dimensioned. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click finish sketch. Uh, notice that it kind of zooms out. You know, we have the origin right here and it kind of zoomed out kind of oddly. So we're gonna click zoom all to get that back into focus. Now we're going to do our first extrusion, okay? So, so the basic kind of um, uh, 3D feature creation is for extrusion is the easiest one. It's probably the most used. So let's go ahead and click extrude. Now the, I, sorry, just one second. So, so basically the, the workflow here is that we create a 2D sketch and then we apply a 3D feature to the 2D sketch. The 3D feature will consume the 2D sketch. That means that we only get one extrusion or one revolve or one sweep out of a single sketch, okay? So a sketch cannot be reused. It's consumed by the 3D feature, okay? So, so let's go ahead and click extrude. Now notice nothing is selected automatically. So there are multiple enclosed 2D areas, okay? So notice this is an enclosed 2D area, right? This is an enclosed 2D area, right? So the, the rectangle without the circle is an enclosed area. The rectangle, or just the circle alone is an enclosed 2D area, okay? I can select multiple areas. So if I click once, it selects the, uh, the area without the circle. I can then also select the circle and include it in the extrusion. Notice that I can't do different extrusions, right? So I can't, you know, make the circle a different height in a single extrusion, okay? And we'll, we'll look at how to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel and I'm gonna click extrude again. I'm just going to select the area around the circle to show that, hey, we can make holes just by leaving things out of the extrusion, right? So this could be you know, an area that we wanted to leave out. We can just make that in our 2D sketch and just leave it out of our extrusion, okay? We can select the direction of the extrusion, you know, whether it goes around the plane and, or what direction from the, the plane that it goes, you know, that it goes from, or, that it originates at. And for this first one, notice we just have a distance, right? There's nothing else in the drawing or in the part, right? So, so, uh, so we just have a distance, okay? And in this case, we're gonna make it two inches. Okay, I pressed two and then pressed enter. Uh, that basically um, set the extrusion. Okay, let's say for instance that we want to edit this extrusion. So let's say we made some error, right? And we wanna go back in and edit the extrusion. Well, that's where this model bar comes in. So the model bar is going to have every last thing that you did and everything is editable, okay? So, so let's say that we wanna go back and edit the, uh, the sketch. We uh, double click sketch one, okay? 
So we double clicked it. Notice we're back into sketch mode. Okay, so we're into sketch mode right here. Let's say that we wanted to make this circle slightly larger. Let's say we wanted to make it 2.5 inches. Maybe the you know the specs changed or something like that. So we we whoops, we're not in any, we're not in any tool. We double click the dimension, we click 2.5 and then we can uh, click enter. All right, so we change the, the size of the hole. Um, and as long as we don't change things too much, when we click finish sketch, basically Inventor will solve that and notice that we didn't have to do anything else. The hole just changed size, right? This, the, that area just changed size there. We can also edit the this extrusion itself. So if we go over to extrusion, now the common thing that students do is they click on the name they wait too long and then they click again and they get a rename on the extrusion. So, so if that happens, don't worry, just click off into a blank space anywhere on the screen. What you need to do is click quickly. So it's a double click, right? So, and, and the easiest way to do is to do it on the icon right here. So double click and you get this edit, the, you know, you just basically get, you just get the extrusion dialog back up with all of the original things set. Let's say we want to make that 2.5 inches instead of two. Uh, and we want to make it extrude the other way, okay? And we go ahead and click OK, so we can edit that extrusion. Okay, so let's say that we want to make a second extrusion, all right? So let's say that we have this part, you know, most parts aren't that simple, right? It's not just one, you know, blocky extrusion, right? Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and we are going to make a second extrusion, okay? Now let's go ahead and do Start 2D Sketch, so we click on Start 2D Sketch. And notice that our origin planes don't come up this time. Okay, so whoop, I'm using the cube there. So I'm clicking and dragging the cube, left clicking and dragging the cube. Notice that I can do that while I'm still in a tool. Okay, so okay, so I'm in 2D sketch. So I just click started 2D sketch. Now I am going to choose a plane on the part. Okay, so basically every flat surface, any flat surface. Uh, is fair game to put a sketch on. So basically any flat surface, I can place this sketch. So let's put it on the side here. So notice that it's highlighted, I click, and now that sketch lives on the side of that part. So notice that now I've created that plane or I've selected the, the plane that that 2D, uh, that um, surface of the part was a part of. <laughs> so basically I'm now on the plane where the surface of the 2D part lived. Right. Okay. So that's where my sketch is. And notice that I can click on the cube. If I just click on the face of the cube, it will automatically line up there. Okay. So we're going to make, uh, uh, this time we're going to make uh, another type of hole, right? We're going to make a, a, a square hole. Okay. And we're going to click, move the mouse, click again. We're going to go ahead and dimension this um, to be one inch and click. Whoops. That's not going to work. We're going to Oop, I got out of the mentioning tool. Click, move the mouse, click again, one inch again. And we're going to make this be uh, 0.5 inches from the side. Enter. Uh, click, move the mouse, click again on the, click on the side of the square, click on the side of the rectangle, move the mouse, click again, and 0.5, enter. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead, uh, now that it's fully dimensioned, right, we're going to go ahead and click finish sketch. And this time we're going to click extrude again. And notice that this time there's only one selectable area. So, so the enclosed 2D sketch, 2D area there, um, that square is automatically selected. All right. Um, okay, so that's how we create a, a second extrusion there. Um, it's worth noting that there are a couple different types of extrusions that we'll go into in the next uh, uh, in the next video. Uh, basically, that's cut, um, intersect, and we'll go into those in just a second. So we're just going to leave this as a join for now, uh, and we'll come back to it. Uh, so give this a try, and best of luck.